Adrian reporting for ESCplus.com and here I have the pleasure to speak to Leonora. You all know who she is now. She won the Dance Melody Grand Prix back a couple of days ago in Denmark and she's presenting uh, her song tonight for Eurovision now here in Stockholm ahead of the Melody Festival and finally Leonora, it's such a pleasure. How do you feel? I feel blessed. <laughs> I'm so thankful for being here. Okay. Uh, what's the message you want to deliver with the song? Because it's a really cute and really sweet song, and the performance itself, it's really special. It's anything that we have seen in the Eurovision yet, with the big chair and everything. It's nothing like we have seen before. What was the idea behind it? Behind the chair? Yes, and the performance. Um, well, of course, we want to express the um, the message of the song, like love is forever and everyone, like both like um, the one to one, but also very much in the broader sense um, between many people and um, and also across borders, like language yes. and the countries. So, um, what I'm what we're trying to do with the chair is elevate me, so I see everything from above mm -hmm. um, and look down at. Uh, yeah, <laughs> refresh the mind. <laughs> yes. What do you think is more important in Eurovision? The performance, the voice, the song, or a combination of everything? Or is there a formula, do you think, that it needs, it's needed to win Eurovision? Uh, personally, I think, of course, everything has to um, work together. But I think the melody is the most important thing. Okay. How have you, in terms of melody and songs, how do you compare your entry to the previous Danish entries who were at the Eurovision in the past few years? Uh, last year we have uh, we had the Viking Rasmussen, and that was very Scandinavian. Yeah. I think um, Love Is Forever have, has some kind of Scandinavian touch as well, but very different. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I think it's it's mostly that the Scandinavian like um, pop sensibility or what you call okay. it. What kind of music are you into most? Uh, do you like pop? Do you like dance? Like you personally, what kind of music do you listen to? Personally, oh, it's very. Uh, Broad. I actually like jazz and blues and stuff, mm -hmm. um, but also pop and uh, Beatles. <laughs> okay, interesting. Actually, I wanted to ask you, now that you're telling me about your music and everything, who would you like to represent Denmark in the future? Oh, that, uh, that's a difficult question. It is. Um, because for so many years, fans have been like... Um, uh, getting like some names in the head like I want this singer this singer like Medina has been always there like some other international Danish uh, singers so who would you like to go for Denmark? Well <laughs> It's a really tough question It's actually. a really tough question because I want to answer it good <laughs> Okay um, Take your time no worries I will cut anyway <laughs> I think we have some really good upcoming artists uh, called uh, Niklas Sell and... Um, oh, yes, yes. Just, yeah, he's, he's awesome. True, true. I think he could add something to, to our uh, entrance. Yeah, now, now Eurovision has changed a lot and now you we're speaking about it and the contest has developed into um, something which, as you said before, it has to be a mix of everything. Yes. Uh, why do you think there's, we have one year a ballad song winning and the other year we have kind of a pop uh, dance song <laughs> taking yeah. the crown? Why do you think is that? I think it's very natural that uh, it goes up and down and uh, the, the taste of the people is different, especially what, what is going, uh, going on around in the world or what, what's the mood. So, yeah. how, how can you compare? No, because in Denmark you do always a great show. Okay. And, and, and Dance Melody Grand Prix is important. How do you compare with the Swedish Melody Festival? And uh, the Swedish is very big compared to, to the Danish. They have uh, six live shows, I think, and the, and the final tonight. Okay. And we only have, we have one live show with ten um, entries and then a final the same evening with three and then one winner. Okay. So. But it was a good, uh, quite a great show back then. Yeah. Last question I need to ask you before uh, saying goodbye. Mm -hmm. How are you approaching Tel Aviv? Uh, are you going to do some promotions? Some, are you preparing your stage performance in, in Tel Aviv stage now? Yeah, we're discussing and uh, preparing the stage performance, of course, and uh, fine-tuning stuff. And uh, then we're going to two other pre-parties, for okay. sure, in Amsterdam and London. Okay. So, I uh, hope to see you really soon. I wish you the best of luck. And uh, can you send a message to the viewers on ESCplus.com? Thank you, all the viewers of uh, ESC Plus blog. Um, I hope to see some of you out at the events or in Tel Aviv. Love is forever. <laughs>
That's so great. Thank you very much for your time, Leonora, and I wish you the best of luck.